Hey YouTube, it's Everything Pan here, and today uh, this is a re-upload of how to install Windows Server 2008 in VirtualBox. Um, the reason why I'm re-uploading this is because I've been hearing some comments about how there's been uh, a problem with audio. So uh, this is just a re-upload. So hopefully I can do the best I can to follow the tutorial. I'm basically just watching the video as I speak, and um, we're just going to kind of go with the flow here. So to begin, you're going to need either VirtualBox or VMware. Those links will be in the description. You're also going to need the Windows Server 2008 ISO file. That will be in the description as well. And there's a password on it. Uh, you can see it's in the video. That's all I'm going to tell you. It's in the video. You can probably get a clue of what that is because this is the first video that something different is on there. Um, and that's kind of how I'm going to do that from now on um, if I ever have a password or anything on my videos or anything like that so I guess the video quality of this isn't going to look as good just because of the I have this in full screen right now I'm basically just watching this over as I speak so uh, I'm just kind of guessing the uh, little video here like it'll just go whenever I feel it'll go I'm literally just kinda waiting just to see what it is but this is just the re-upload because I don't feel like redoing the video I just wanna get the audio fixed and that's it because I haven't uploaded a video in about a week I believe so hopefully this uh, will help you guys out I don't know why the upload went like that but we're just gonna go ahead and do it so you're gonna create a new virtual machine and call it whatever you want I'm just gonna call it Windows Server 2008 you can see it's already selected then hit next and I'm gonna I bump my RAM up to a gig and then you hit next and then you're gonna create a virtual hard drive hit next twice and then create it you can make it however big you want but then the next thing you're gonna do is go up to settings click that I don't know what I was doing I was moving it around click settings go to storage and then go to the empty click that little disk click choose and then there is the ISO you just find out where it is and then click OK and then you're gonna go ahead and start the virtual machine and this is the part right here where the audio was kinda of messed up I believe it was around right here so hopefully it's not messed up this time I'll recheck the uh, playback on this but I don't know why the audio was all screwed up and whatever but uh, it's gonna go through the Windows loading files set up right here kinda just like Windows XP or not XP Windows Vista and Windows 7 setup basically all that good stuff and then you'll get to the screen where it'll ask you for your language and your keyboard layout and your time format so just hit next select your whatever you want uh, language and whatever click install now and then it'll say please wait and you can skip this little product key you don't have to have a product key in order to install this it's like a 180 day evaluation trial so just go ahead and skip that by hitting no on the next screen and then now it'll ask you the it'll ask you I believe the version you are going to install yep and then right here you're gonna wanna select um, I prefer doing full installation because server core is only command prompt and you know I know nothing about command prompt I mean I know a little bit about it but Windows Server wise I know nothing about it so I just recommend doing full installation um, for this and you could do either standard enterprise or data center I just hit standard and then you have to hit the little box down here that says you've selected the one that you purchased then hit next and then you have to accept the license terms hit next and then you have to hit custom and there's the 25 gigs of unallocated space you're gonna select that hit next and it's gonna go through the basic installation of Windows Server 2008 it's basically very similar to uh, Windows uh, 7 and Windows Vista Windows 8 as well and basically it's just going to go through the process of copying all the files and expanding all the files and then you're going to hit the first restart point so you're going to go ahead and re restart now and it's going to reboot your virtual machine it'll say press any key to boot from CD or DVD just go ahead and uh, disregard that just kinda disregard 
that you can eject the disc if you want if it bothers you like that because I know some people have made that mistake where they have actually um, hit the any key to boot from the CD or DVD and they just go in a constant loop so it's gonna say please wait while Windows sets up your computer and this could take some time uh, it's just doing some more setting up it's gonna go through the uh, last parts of the completing installation stage I believe and then you'll hit another restart point I'm pretty sure and the jump cuts I am always unsure of when I do those but uh, you'll get to this screen which is I believe the continuation of completing installation yep it'll say this you just gotta wait some more time and then um, you'll hit another restart point which should be coming up here because you see the four check marks you have to have five I guess in order to get that going and there you get the restart point I actually missed it but um, you'll get another restart point it'll load up into the setup and I believe this will be the point where you can log in or try and log in to the administrator account associated with your server edition and it won't restart anymore this will be the final time it restarts so technically in this video I didn't do a jump cut because I don't know maybe I'll do this more often maybe I'll just do voiceovers of the videos like I'll just do the video in general and then do just some voiceover I don't know I actually kind of like the way I do this but for some reason the screen was black for some time it didn't come up right away you can see the cursor moving so that's good that means your mouse drivers are correctly installed and it'll say the user's password must be changed before logging on for the first time so you're gonna have to create a password for the administrator so just hit OK and then you're gonna there's a certain guidelines to it you're gonna have to have I think at least a capital letter and some numbers in there yep I tried like three times and it wouldn't work you have to have I believe at least a uppercase lowercase and a number in it I don't think you have to have a symbol but you might have to have a symbol I'm not sure I don't remember I don't even remember what I did for the password but you just gotta type it in it'll change your password and when you hit OK it'll apply some settings prepare your desktop and it should log you straight into the administrator account of Windows Server 2008 so thank you guys for watching this is how to install Windows Server 2008 in VirtualBox hope this helped you guys out please like the video um, if this helped you out share it so that other people can use this video tutorial comment below your ideas um, I know that this is kind of weird how I did a re-upload and I was just kind of screwing around in here to check the video settings and stuff but um, just give me your ideas I'll take most of them obviously um, if some of you guys have repeats obviously those will be the most more requested videos but um, also subscribe for more videos I just hit 800 subscribers and I thank you so much for that it truly means a lot so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video